Welcome back guys to another video. Today we are going to go fishing. Finally have a really nice day here. Um, it's 50 degrees so we're going to go hit up a couple ponds with one of my buddies Adam. Uh, he has a YouTube channel too uh, which I'll link down below. But uh, we're going to go to a couple ponds um, and that I've been to before and I went with my buddy uh, Charles and we caught or he caught uh, before I got there, he said he had like a 16 pound bag working for his best five and when we, when we were there, I caught like a three, he caught like a four. So we're going to go there and um, probably skip some docks um, since the sun is out and it's it's up and, it's up and tall, uh, hopefully the uh, dock bite will be on. The past few days here, I've been doing some fishing um, with uh, a guy I actually met through YouTube and then I met him in person for the first time at the Indianapolis Boat Sport and Travel Show. Um, John Myers from Big Rig Bass Fishing. Uh, we fished a tournament together two days ago and it was a grind. Uh, the person who won ended up winning with like 16 pounds. Um, but it's uh, someone always catch sacks them up. It, that's just, it's inevitable. Someone's always gonna sack them up and you just gotta hope it's you. But we had two fish for like five, I think it was 577. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys saw the, uh, the post about it. But um, I didn't film too much that day. I had some GoPro problems. Uh, batteries were dying because it was pretty chilly. I think the high was like 36, 38, so it was pretty chilly. But um, this later this week, I'm actually going to take my boat out um, to Geist with the buddy I'm actually fishing with today. He's going to go out with me later this week. But um, So we're going to go down to the boat, the barn right now. Got to get a, a few boxes of tackle out to take with me, get some soft plastics, and then we're going to head off to... Uh, to the pond. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video and hopefully hopefully we catch some fish. There's gotta be a bass under that dock. I wish I had my jig. Oh my God. There has gotta be a bass under that dock. Oh! I have your line, I think. Yeah. I I have your line. You have, that's a big one. Oh, that's a fish. Okay. Oh, dude, that's a big one. Oh, my. Don't horse him. Don't horse him. Don't horse him. Yeah. Don't horse him. Oh, my God, dude, that. Dude, 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 dude. Calm down. I gotta get one. That is a chunky fish right there. That's a four. That's easily a four. That's a female too. Oh my god! No, he's probably three and a half. Do you have your scale still? Yeah. Oh my gosh! That is a big. That's a female. Look how small the mouth is. I bet he's three and a half. Yeah, no, three. First jerkbait fish, because I never fish jerkbaits. Three fifty nine. Three sixty. Three sixty. Three sixty. Bigger than mine. Bigger than yours. Three sixty. First jerkbait fish of the year. Here you go, mama. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, two, 263. My second fish. Uh-oh, don't go belly up for me. Thank you. It's a good jerkbait day so far. Shadow. Uh oh. Like oh, on the side view. Good one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is a good one. Oh, dude, that's the biggest one yet. Maybe not. It looked it looked big. I think no, I thought that was a spot. That's about that's about a three-pounder. 
Maybe a little bigger. Oh yeah, that's that might be the biggest. Oh, he's hung up. Oh, I don't want to get it. Yeah, I don't want to get a trouble. Yeah, grab him from below. Oh yeah. That's probably, that's probably the biggest. Shad tail. Big shad tail down there. Wait, I'm just I just want to see what he weighs. I'm, I'm just curious. Right at three. Three thirteen. So we'll say Oh my gosh. That was cool. So we got a three, say two three and a halfs. So there's there's seven. Um that three which is uh, 10, that other three, which is 13 and a two. So about 15 pounds. Yeah, we're catching them on jerk baits on the end of docks. We caught, what did we catch? Three or four off that dock right there. Yeah. Do what? Yeah. Yeah, they're under. At least what we've seen is they're under docks just waiting for bait to come by and they're just ambushing it. Normally when it's hotter out, I walk around here skipping under these docks with the jigs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do that in the summer. But good luck. Yeah, so I was thinking visiting for visiting for him. Smallmouth. Is it really? I think. Yeah, that's a smallmouth. Yes. That's a good smallmouth. Here, you want me get him? Yeah. There, get him up here. Get him up here. Oh yeah, that's a good. That, dude, that's like a three-pound smallmouth. Pond smallie. That's a good smallmouth. Look at that. That might be my PV smallmouth. Nah, he's two and a quarter. Dang. I've never caught a smallmouth out of a pond before. You've never caught a... <laughs> Is that a large mouth? Yeah. Oh, there's one. There's two. There's two. Old. Oh, this is a good one. Try not to get in your raw. Oh, that's a largey. I'll flip him. Oh, maybe not. Here, here, I got him. Oh, that's a that's, that's a three. That's a three pounder. That's another three. That's another. Oh, definitely get a picture with a jerk bait in his mouth. Yeah, because that's an accurate. I want to weigh him too, but yeah, but uh, he's right at three. Yeah. Or not two and three quarters, two and a quarter. Two, exactly two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Nice. Exactly. That's a good fish. I need to get back out there. All right, guys, they're schooled up right in this little bay here. Got a little, uh, some, some bigger, bigger rock down there and then some chunk rock mixed in. He had one hit and then missed it. Yeah, it popped off and then it came back and he got one on, on a, uh, got a small mouth on a jerk bait. And I just caught that two and a quarter. Probably about 15, probably about 16 or 17 pounds now. Would you swim in here for a hundred bucks? Why are you scared of the carp? Of 
what? Brain eating amoeba. <laughs> Lift your rod up real quick. Lift your. What? I'm a professional doc. Skipper. I could. Big one. Big one. Big one. Giant. Giant. Really? Yes. Hold on. Giant. No, it isn't. Well, that's a good one. Oh, dude, that's a six pounder. That's a six. Dude, that's a six. That's. That is a six. No, that, he's probably about five. Dude, <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. Get him right here. Get him right here. That's a six. Dude, that's a six. Maybe. Maybe seven. Hold on. Hold on. That's a six. That's a six pounder. That's a six pounder. That'd be my PB. This is my PB. Hold on. Let me see. That's about. No, nah, he's about five. Five and a quarter. My PB is five and a half thirty-three. That's about. I think he's. I think he's about five twenty-two. Oh, he's only four. No. Four and a half. Yeah, that's four. You think? Yeah. He looks bigger than that. <laughs> You want to you make a couple more casts? No, I got to go. And it on that. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to get out of here. Pretty good day, I would say. Um, what I catch, four, five, maybe six bass, a uh, couple three and a halfs, a couple twos, nothing really under two and a quarter. So it was a pretty good day, I'd say, between me and Adam. We probably had 17, 18 pounds, our best five. And uh, that he caught that four and a half at the end. So actually, we had about 18 or 19 pounds for our best five. So yeah, uh, about 18, 19 pounds for our best five. So that's a pretty good bag on these ponds here. I really just needed a confidence boost because I've been fishing those those two tournaments and nothing nothing came out of it. And we just didn't, we, I mean, we caught a couple fish, but we just didn't do really good. And I really needed a good confidence boost and this was good for that. Uh, I think we might be coming back tomorrow, so that's gonna be good. Uh, I will go over the rod and reel and how I caught all my fish when I get home, but I'll see you guys back at the boat when I get home. All right, guys, so we are back from the pond, back at my house here, and I kind of want to go over the setup that I was able to catch all of my fish on today. Um, I was throwing uh, this little jerk bait right here. This is actually a prototype jerk bait that I am uh, kind of testing for one of my sponsors here, Lake Fork Trophy Lures. Um, but yeah, this is a prototype jerk bait um, and just kind of a a shad pattern with a purple and gold, uh, purple gold and a little black back. Um, so I was throwing that jerk bait 
on um, 12 pound um, a cigar abrasex, 12 pound cigar abrasex. I like to use 12 pound on bigger jerk baits because I, I I feel like I have more confidence with them, and I know it's not gonna not gonna snap. Uh, if I throw the little smaller size jerk baits, I'll go down to 10, but I prefer 12 pound here. Uh, I was throwing it on a Bass Pro Shops Pro Qualifier six four to one, I believe. Yep, six four to one, and this was on a Rick Clun Signature Series Top Water Rod. Um, I found that this is a really great jerkbait rod. Uh, this is a 6'6 medium. Uh, it says medium heavy, but it's more of a medium. It's got a really soft tip, and it allows me to really work that jerkbait really well. I was making long casts. Uh, we found that, that the, the bass were underneath the deeper docks, um, just kind of waiting. The wind was blowing uh, in our face, so we would cast, we would cast upwind uh, right out about, probably, anywhere from five to 10 foot, maybe even 15 foot out from the dock. And um, we'd cast upwind and we'd work our jerk bait past the front of the dock and the bass would just ambush it underneath. They were just sitting underneath the deeper docks waiting for bait to come by and ambush it. And it being kind of similar to a shad color jerk bait that really worked well because that lake is full of shad. Cast the jerk bait out, real long cast. I'd, I'd go a twitch twitch. Most I was mostly doing two twitches and then a pause. Sometimes I would do so I'd make a long cast and I'd, I'd sometimes do a two two one or a one two two or a two one two or a three two one. I just really mix it up. Most of the time I was doing a two 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 one two 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 one, um, and they would they were just hammering it and it. When I'd let it set for three to four seconds, and then when I'd go to twitch it again, I just feel them on the end, and I just turn real, real up, and they'd be on there. So uh, that was the setup. That's how I caught all my fish today, and um, it was overall a good day. I really needed that confidence boost with the jerk bait. So it was a good day out on the water. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna have a lot more fishing videos coming out here. I'm on spring break, I got two weeks off. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of fishing. It's getting nice out, like it's almost 60 degrees today. So uh, that's that's pretty good for up here in Indiana. So uh, hopefully later this week, I'm gonna get out, get the boat out, and uh, I'll definitely be doing some more pond fishing later this week. So stay tuned for some more videos. I got a giveaway video coming here very soon. I'm gonna be giving away some lucky stuff. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate uh, you guys watching this video. And uh, if you're new to the channel, I'm gonna have a lot of cool stuff coming out this year. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and I know you guys got friends. So tell your friends, get them on this channel. Let's get them on this train and uh, let's grow this channel some more this year. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.